back. I'm back. Good morning. Good morning. What's up, cuz? Nothing much. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Who else is online? Okay, okay, okay. Well, let's get started. I heard about three or four more on, but they're probably calling the listen in. Any prayer requests? Mm-hmm. Always Anybody? stand in prayer. <laughs> huh? Say, always stand in the need of prayer. Amen. Uh, Amen. Okay. Dear Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, as we come to you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, on this Friday morning, we want to thank you for waking us up this morning, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, to provide us an excellent weekend, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, as we try to walk in your name, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, wherever we are, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I just pray, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that you forgive us for our sins, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that you maintain whatever you have within our lives, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, as we go about an excellent weekend, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, as we try to enjoy our holidays, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, through grieving, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, whether they lost a job, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, whether a lack of money, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, whether we lost our family number, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that we all come together as a family, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, friends of friends and family of family, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. We all come as one to praise you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. For we know, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that nothing is possible without you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, as we need you to apply in our lives every single day as we clock in to work, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, as we come home, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for we know that the devil is always on attack, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for he doesn't want success within your name, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. The last thing he wants is for us to know who you are, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for all the distractions that we have, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, whether it's music, whether it's social media, whether it's the news, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, the enemy is on attack, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So I just pray, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that you just cover us by the blood, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. For we know, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that you are in our lives, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, and you are loved, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So I pray, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for everybody who's online, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that might not need prayer, Heavenly Father, might not want prayer. We all need prayer, but sometimes we don't want prayer, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for they chime in together, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, as we come to you as a team, because two or more gather, the Holy Spirit shows up, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So I pray, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that we study and fast your word, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, to get closer to you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I want to pray for our men, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for they're in need, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, to be covered, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for the enemy is on attack and he attacks the head, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So I pray, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for every single woman, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that wants a man or desires to have a man, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that you cover them with the right man, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, to apply in their lives, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, and help them grow within Christ, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, as Christ is needed in this hateful world, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray for these married spouses, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that feel that the grass is green on the other side, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, and following what the enemy tries to do to destroy marriage, because you know the enemy hates marriage, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. He does not want two to come as one, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, and be on the same page. So I pray that you cover these married families, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Cover their children, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Cover my children, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Cover all our children, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. For we know that God looks after children and food, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So I pray that you continue to look out for our children, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for everybody on this line, in the name of Jesus, amen. 
Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Uh, all right. Anybody else want prayer? Anybody else need prayer? Uh, what to just come in and chime in and pray? Good morning. I'm going to go ahead and read that word that was brought up on my Bible gateway this morning, and I think it's an important one. It's John 17:17, 17, 17, and it says, "Sanctify them then in the truth." Set them apart for your purposes. Make them holy. Your word is truth. And I just want to encourage someone today. Dear God, that God has a purpose for you. He said his purposes, we are set apart. Each and every one of us is important to the Lord. Each and every one of us has a purpose. It may not be to be wealthy and high and mighty as far as the world is concerned, but as our, our old saying goes, you may not be the biggest one in the world, but the, you may be the world to one person. So I just want to encourage mm-hmm. people this morning just to know that God sees you in your position, situation. If it's a relationship, you are called, you are set apart for a purpose that he knows and has pre-planned for you. Dear Heavenly Father, I just want to go before you this morning. I want to, of course, thank you for getting us out of our beds. Lord, we take it for granted that we can just get up, roll out, walk, see, put our clothes on, drive cars, Heavenly Father, and there are those this morning that don't have these luxuries, Heavenly Father. So we thank you, first and foremost, for what you do for us every single morning. We thank you, Lord, to get us to the bottom of another week. We started the week one way, and if anybody else doesn't feel the days are flying, we at the bottom of another week. The holidays are about to begin next week, so we thank you, Lord, that you're bringing us alive. And at the bottom of a year, Heavenly Father, 2016 is about to wrap up. And so we have to give you praise and thanks for bringing us through this year, Lord. There are those who started with us, Lord, that didn't make it, Heavenly Father. There are those, I just read have someone grieving over the loss of their daughter, Heavenly Father. So there are those who started the year with us who didn't make it. Please be with those grieving, Heavenly Father, this holiday season as they face their first holiday season without a loved one. Put them in your arms, Lord. Wrap their arms around them. Send those in the, in the family and friend circle that can envelop them and make them feel loved and wanted and, and important, Lord, as they grieve over the missing person in their life. Dear Heavenly Father, there are those who are sick in their body as the holiday comes up. And I'm praying for healing on those people, Heavenly Father. I'm praying for um, painless days, Lord, or less pain days, Lord. I'm praying for those to have spontaneous healings that are praying for their body to be touched, Lord. I'm asking for all these things in the precious name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, there are those who are going through our financial situations. We're coming down to the bottom of a year, and we're facing that the finances don't look any better, maybe, than how we started the year. And yet, first, I want to tell you, thank you for sustaining us, Lord. There's none of us sitting out on a street corner with a sign. There's none of us, Lord, not knowing what we're going to put on our mortal bodies, Lord. There's none of us starving, Heavenly Father, without food or raiment. You said don't even think about these things. You will provide them for us. And so I thank you, first and foremost, that you have provided these necessary things. But, Heavenly Father, there are those of us who would like to do more, and I know they're on this line. There are those of us who would like to start businesses. There are those of us who would like to pour into the lives of their children. There are those of us, Lord, that would like to pour into the lives of other people. And so, Heavenly Father, I don't just call for jobs. I call for increased income, money to come forth from whatever area you see fit for it to come forth. Put it in their hands, Lord. Make their hands be able to be full of opportunities, Lord. Make their hands to be full of just different things that they can do that can turn around and bring income. Income. We say it, Lord, income into the home, Lord. Bring it in. Heavenly Father, bless them so that 2017, they are walking in your purposes for their life. They're walking in your way that you need them to touch other people's lives. Thank you, Lord, in advance for what you're going to do into the lives of people. Dear Heavenly Father, and as we face this weekend, as people are going to be out and about, keep them safe, Lord. The car accidents, Lord, the difficulties of people texting and driving. Heavenly Father, keep us all safe. 
safe from all hurt, harm, and danger. Keep us on the roads, Lord. Keep us in our homes, Lord. Keep us wherever we go to enjoy ourselves and relax over the weekend. Dear Heavenly Father, I still call a special prayer down on our children. Heavenly Father, keep their minds, Lord. Stay on Thee, Heavenly Father. Remind us as parents that we are the living examples of You on this earth, Heavenly Father. Let them be able to see You in us, Heavenly Father. Let them be able to model You through us, Heavenly Father. Help us to give them wisdom. Help us to give them knowledge, Lord, so they understand they are not just a floating body on a ball in the space, Lord, but they are a living and breathing soul that you have a purpose for their life. Help us, Lord, to bring them up, as my old parents used to say, in the fear and admonition of the Lord. Heavenly Father, help us to make them understand you created them for a specific purpose and time. They were not born too late. They weren't a mistake. They weren't anything that anybody would like to call them outside of their God-given name. They have a purpose, Lord. They are important to you. They are special to you, and they are loved. Help them, Lord, to understand that they are loved, Lord, so that nothing comes against them to ruin their mindsets, to take away their happiness and their contentment. Heavenly Father, walk with them as they go through the hallways in school, Heavenly Father. Be with them as with these teachers. And Heavenly Father, after watching that video, I call a special prayer down on these teachers in the mighty name of Jesus, that they will not be losing their cool and calling our children outside of their name, Heavenly Father. I rebuke the spirit that's coming up in our classrooms for teachers to be calling children names instead of teaching them the way they need to govern this world. Heavenly Father, I rebuke this thing, Lord, that is causing fights in classrooms, that we need to have people handcuffed. Heavenly Father, we need people to be dragged out. We need people to be put on administrative leave and fired because of their actions. I rebuke the spirit that is pulling apart this country even today, Heavenly Father. I rebuke the spirit of division, Lord, that is coming to separate us, to make us feel that one is better than the other. One got more than the other. Heavenly Father, you said this world is yours and the fullness thereof. So therefore, let us all understand that we are part of the human tribe. We are part of the human race and that we owe our entire being to you. Dear Heavenly Father, I get it. then again, I call out those who call for just prayer, unspoken prayer requests. You know the desires of their heart, Heavenly Father. I don't even need to know. Your spirit can go wherever they are. You see the thoughts and the intentions of our mind, Lord. Meet them in the need in which they have brought on this prayer line this morning. Dear Heavenly Father, I ask you meet them right now in the mighty name of Jesus. And whatever it is for this, they walk as they move, they walk into the answer of their prayer. I ask this thing in Jesus' name. Amen. And amen. amen. Man. Thank you. Anybody else want to pray? Or just uh, Nah, I'm good. I'm good. It's Steve here, Brandon. Good what's morning, up? What's Steve. Up? Sam, what's happening? Uh, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Glad thank to have you, you on the line. Glad to have everybody on the line. We thank you so much. In the morning, I realize it's time to get to work, and some are in cars. So we thank you for being here with us. Lord God, we just thank you on this morning, Father. God, as we continue to pray and God continue to go on day, Lord God. God, we just ask right now in the name of Jesus, Lord God, if we've done anything, God, is that is not like you. Father, we mm. ask that you just forgive us for our sins, God. In the mind God, God, we ask that you just create in us a clean heart, Lord God. Clean heart, Lord. Renew oh. the right spirit within us, Lord God. Jesus. And God, we just thank you for this. Now, Lord God, as we continue, God, order our steps on today, Lord God. Let us be a difference. Make a difference in somebody's life on this day, Father. God, continue to order our footsteps, Lord God. Continue to cover us, Lord God. And, God, we thank you that no weapon formed against us shall ever be able to prosper, Lord God. Though it may form, God, it cannot take root, can't take hold, can't keep us in bondage, Amen. cannot uh, give us the sickness or disease, God, because you said in your word, Lord God, by your stripes we were healed, Lord God. So we thank you right now for all healing, God. Touch our minds, Lord God, that we may Think what you would have us to think, God. Yes. Touch our mouths that we may speak what you would have us to speak, God. 
Touch our ears, Lord God, that we may hear what you would have us to hear, Lord God. God, I thank you right now, Lord God. We bind anything that is not like you and cast it back into the pits of hell from which it came. God, only to loose your spirit of love, joy temperance, meekness, happiness, God. Mm, and we thank spirit. you right now, Father God, for this is the day that you have made. And God, this day we choose at this time to rejoice and be glad in yes, you yes. and for our families, God, for our children, God, for our immediate families, God, as we pray for them, Lord God. Continue to show them the way, Lord God. Mm. And if there's Anybody that is not saved, Lord God, God, we yeah. ask right now in the name of Jesus that the Holy Spirit go and prick their heart, Lord God. Yeah. Save them, God, only like you can, God. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, let them be receptive to your will, your yeah. way, and your yeah. word. Yeah. And, God, we don't count this done in a man's name, God, but it's in and through your son, Jesus the Christ, that we pray. Amen. 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 Thanks, uh, Thank you, Lord. Uh, I think it's tonight, right, Roseanne? I was about to say so. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah, y'all go see Roseanne. She's in Kannapolis. Go ahead and give me the info, Roseanne. Uh, I'll be ministering tonight at our joy night service at 730 at Victory Tabernacle Outreach Ministries, which is located at 1300 Mooresville Road in Kannapolis, North Carolina, 28081. That's 28081, 1300 Mooresville Road in Kannapolis, North Carolina, 730 tonight on our joy night service. Wonderful. And don't forget, Rosanna, you're also doing prayer for those who don't always be able to make our week prayers, or will you be praying tomorrow morning? I would be praying tomorrow morning on a mother's love at 7 mm. o'clock a.m. We are praying for children all over the world. Um, I got a report again that there has been a child that has been taken in sex slavery in the state of Pennsylvania. Jeez. Uh, and we are going to be praying and uplifting for those children that are uh, in bondage, that have been stolen from their parents, that have been sold into sex slavery. We will be praying and focusing on that in the morning. This prayer is real, and we have to cover our children. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Okay. Well. Also, also uh, tune in Monday morning for Jennifer Cook. She has prayer at 5 a.m. I don't know. If she, Jennifer, you on here? Yeah. Okay, so she, you on here, Jennifer? I am. Okay, you can get them the information if you're able to talk. Uh, Monday yes, morning. The one, the one, um, prayer call is at on Monday every Monday morning at five thirty a.m. Um, <clears throat> and um, it's no more than about a half hour of you know morning glory intercessory prayer. So everyone is welcome to join in. It doesn't matter what ethnicity you are, what religion you practice. This is all about coming together in, as one to lift up the name of the Lord first thing in the morning before we get our day going. Amen. Word, word. Amen. All right. Else that would like to pray with us this morning? I know we got some prayer warriors, but don't feel yourself not that you cannot pray. You know, Jesus prayed a simple prayer and taught the disciples to pray. We teach our children to fold their hands and say grace. So please don't ever feel that you are not able to say a word to the Lord. He hears everything, including our groanings. You've got to understand, he even hears, well, we don't even have the words. He hears our groanings, and he understands the desires and the needs of our heart. So if anyone else would like to pray or just um, has a word that they'd like to share with us this morning. Amen. You know, Judy, if I, I just may say, I mean, I'm just going to say this, and then I'm going to go on mute, but um, a lot of times people make it seems like prayer is so hard, but if you understand what prayer really is and you really, it's nothing more than a conversation with God. So the Amen. same way that we're sitting on the phone talking now is the same way that you can actually just speak to God. Speak to God. And, and talk to your and best friends. Amen. prayer as well as the prayers of intercessors. So yeah. it's, it's just a conversation. Prayer is not intimidating. It's a conversation. Yes. Amen. Well, if we don't have anybody else who want to pray, this is our short one today. If everyone is fine, um, Chuck, I don't know if you'd like to close us out in prayer. You know I always like to close everyone out. Yeah. 
Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day, Heavenly Father, as we close out prayer, Heavenly Father. I pray, Heavenly Father, that you cover everybody on this line, Heavenly Father. Yes, some might be discouraged, Heavenly Father. Some might be distracted, Heavenly Father. Some might be going through things, but we know, Heavenly Father, just like Roseanne said, Heavenly mm-hmm. Father, that you could strike on a conversation, Heavenly Father. We know that how the Holy Spirit works, Heavenly Father. So we mm-hmm. just pray that you drop the Holy Spirit within them if they need prayer, Heavenly Father, or if they want prayer, or they just want to pray, Heavenly Father, but feel that, that feel the need or feel that people will say anything or feel that people will judge them if they pray, Heavenly Father. For we know, Heavenly Father, how the enemy works, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So I just pray, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that you cover them, Heavenly Father. They might not want to pray this morning, Heavenly Father, but we pray that they come together next week, Heavenly Father, next Friday after Thanksgiving, Heavenly Father. Father, and help a proud of this world, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So I pray, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for everybody who needs prayer, and I pray that we have a wonderful weekend, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I pray that you cover our children once again, Heavenly Father, in the yes. name of Jesus. The child that Roseanne mentions, Heavenly Father, in the name mm, of Jesus. Yes. My children, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Stephen Wonders, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. We mm-hmm. pray for all of them, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, amen. Amen. All right, well, I pray that y'all have a wonderful weekend. Yes. And walk with God. I love you, but God loves you more. Amen. Be blessed, amen. everyone. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Amen. Amen.